everyone so today's video is actually sponsored by lenovo audio and of course after my good experience you know with the lenovo ting plus lp5 for those of you who do not know you can check out my review video of the lenovo lp5 so i was very excited to test and review the lenovo xt62 wireless earbuds which i'm actually wearing right now so grab your drinks grab your snacks you know and get comfy because here comes my full review of the lenovo Ting Plus LivePod XT62 wireless earphones. Alright, hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in, in, in my channel over here, I actually test and review budget and affordable wireless earbuds to help you to decide before you hit that buy button. So without further ado, let's get into today's content. Now, the Lenovo XT62 retails for around 18 Singapore dollars in Shopee Singapore. For the past two weeks, I've actually been testing this earbuds as my daily driver. Now, even though this earbuds cost only about $18, but I will still be very honest and be very detailed. So I'll include timestamp if you wish to jump to any particular segment. In terms of design and build, the XT62 comes in four colors. There's black, there's pink, there's white, and there's purple. Now for the rest of it, feel free to click on my unboxing video of the XT62, whereby I also also did a comparison of the physical appearance of the XT62 versus the WM02. Now in terms of comfort and fit, the earbuds they only weigh 3.8 gram. Now they are so feather light and the earbuds are so small and compact, you will actually forget them after putting them on. Now it comes pre-installed with M-sized soft silicon ear seals and of course Lenovo they do provide additional silicon seals for different sizing so you can actually go ahead mix and match them to get the right fit. Um, for me I'm actually pretty fine with the default M size. So if you wish to actually like you know do some slight adjustment the side of the earbuds are actually sloped it actually makes it very easy for my fingers to actually grab onto the slope edges to make slight adjustment without accidentally you know activating the touch commands. And since they do not trap any heat I after wearing them for like three to four hours straight, I don't feel any ear fatigue or pain. Now, one of the biggest considerations when it comes to getting a wireless earbud is of course the audio quality. Now, the XT62 houses eight millimeters composite diaphragm drivers within the earphones. Now, in terms of music quality wise, generally I feel that the bass is so-so, but having said that, vocals and instruments and strings are surprisingly clear, sharp and defined. But of course, don't expect too much from the sound stage but I feel that it's sufficient for you to actually know where the instruments and the vocals and the strings are actually coming from. In terms of sound quality for like videos, you know, movies and games, I feel that it's respectable with some you know slight rumbling bass but definitely nowhere near other earbuds I've actually tested which are using better audio drivers. But of course overall at this price point I feel that the sound quality of the XT62 should be suitable for people who don't require much or you just require a pair of you know, budget wireless earphones to listen to you know podcasts or audiobooks. Now in terms of battery life, the earbuds are actually rated to have 30 milliamps. Of course, the manufacturer claimed that the earbuds can last for about five hours. So on my own personal usage, I was able to get close to five hours with the volume set and 100%. Uh, for phone calls, I was able to get around four hours. On low latency mode, I was able to get around 3.5 hours. Now, in terms of mixed usage, I was getting around three hours, and that's a breakdown of one hour for phone call, one hour on music, and one hour on low latency mode. And during my testing, I, I, I always get the right side dying faster than the left side. Now the charging case is rated to have around 300 milliamps of internal battery. Now this should be more than sufficient to charge both earbuds for around five times, giving you a total of 30 hours of usage. Now, if you want to charge up the earbuds independently, you can do so up to 10 times. And another thing to take note is that don't need to worry about, you know, left going to the left, or the right going to the right. You can actually just put them where, what, 
however you want like the left can go into the right the right can go into the left and you will the case will still charge the earbuds as per normal so overall i would say that the battery life on the xt 62 is pretty on par with what the company claims now in terms of connectivity xt 62 is using bluetooth 5.3 version the initial pairing experience with all the platforms i'm using like you know the mac os the ios android phone my windows laptop with my ipad is effortless it's very seamless including subsequent reconnection is very seamless it's very effortless all you need to do is to take out the earbuds and boom it's reconnected now of course you know xt 62 actually has a dedicated gaming mode or they call it the low latency mode but we'll talk about that in the bit i like to talk about the touch commands all right so the xt 62 actually comes with a range of touch commands like pause and play you know previous song next song and it also comes with you know commands for you to activate you know voice commands like siri and google assistant and also the low latency mode right it also comes with a power on and power off feature which i feel is very good for some of you here for example you don't want to use the earbuds anymore you don't want to put them back in the case you can just activate the power off and you can just put the earbuds aside when you want to use them again you just need to wear them input the power on command and you can start using them again it will connect back with your phone or your laptop or your ipad or your windows laptop automatically now in terms of app support um, sadly, the XT62 actually has zero app support from Lenovo, so therefore you cannot customize your experience with the XT62 according to your own liking. Now, when it comes to like exercise, the workout, jogging, and gymming, the XT62 has no proper IPX waterproof rating. But so far, it has been fine for me when I wear them for like you know jogging and light gym sessions. Now, in terms of low latency mode, I mean, who would have imagined that such tiny fellas has a low latency mode? So what happens when you actually activate the low latency mode is that the chipset within the earphones, they will actually process and transmit the audio from the source much faster to our ears. So for the XT62 low latency mode, it's actually able to reduce sound delay down to as low as 60 milliseconds. But of course, during our own testing when I was using it for gaming, I feel that the sound delay wasn't very obvious whether it's with or without the low latency mode and similarly when i was watching you know videos via youtube or you know videos via netflix i didn't feel any differences as well with and without the low latency mode but of course you know having said that I feel that the low latency mode will definitely come in very handy for some users are constantly facing with sound delay issues with their smartphones whenever they are watching videos uh, or they're playing games. Now, in terms of microphone quality, now this is an area which I believe some users are seeing it as important because you just want to have a pair of wireless earphones to do like everything. You know, it's for movie, it's for music, it's for gaming, and of course, it's also to answer some phone calls if you need to. The XT62, the earphones are pretty usable when you're indoors and in quiet environments. Your voice, though, would actually sound a little bit hollow uh, and a little bit echoey in this kind of situations. But once you move outdoors and you're like in noisier places, such as you're in a cafe or in a coffee shop or in a restaurant or you're walking along a busy road or you're in crowded places, I actually do not recommend the XT62 uh, to answer phone calls or to have a conversation over the phone because firstly, the microphone quality doesn't perform very well in such noisy places. It's not able to like isolate and reduce the background noise to amplify your voice so that the other person is able to hear you clearly. So it's not really doing very well in such cases. To show you how the microphone performs in different environments, the following segment is a series of audio sound clips to demonstrate the microphone quality of the X-T62. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. So I'm currently using a microphone, so do let me know what you think of the microphone quality testing testing. One, two, three. I got it. I'm
Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Hi everyone, this is Tom here. I'm currently in an indoor environment. I'm actually in my computer room. So I'm currently doing a microphone test on the Lenovo XT52. You can see here. Right, so do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So let's summarize, shall we? Let's take a look at the pros and cons of the Lenovo XT62. So in terms of pros, it has decent battery life, it's featherweight, it has great design, okay, very fashionable design, and it has a low latency mode. In terms of the cons, no active noise cancellation, no app support, no proper IPX uh, waterproof and dust rating. Um, the microphone is not very usable outdoor as well. So at the end of the day, are they worth it? Should you actually consider getting the XT62 or should you actually consider something else? Well, in my option, I feel that the XT62, they have decent battery life. It has a seamless pairing and connection with different platforms. I have no issue with that. And I feel that the audio quality is great for audiobooks, podcasts, and just general media consumption. Honestly speaking, at such an affordable price, I would actually recommend it to anyone who just want a pair of fast, free wireless earphones. All right, there you have it. This has actually been my personal review of the Lenovo Ting Plus LivePod XT62 wireless earbuds. I hope it has helped you. If it did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And that's all the time we have. My name is Johnny. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.